hello everyone this is mary i'm here to tell you some important topics related to class 5 observe what are the contents in this fifth class first unit is food second unit is materials third unit the world of the living fourth unit moving things people and ideas fifth unit natural phenomenon and sixth unit is natural resources here are some important points related to first lesson food so plants reproduce through seeds spores and other parts that means they reproduce through seeds spores and other parts the process of spreading seeds across a wide area is called dispersal so what is dispersal the process of spreading seeds across a wide area and the growing of a seed into a seedling is called germination so what is germination growing of a seed into a seedling that means it is growing a seed needs air wa- water and warmth to germinate the two main crops grown in india are rabi crop and karif crop so what are the two main crops rabi crop and karif crop to get a good yield fertilizers or manure should be added to improve the fertility of soil insecticides should be sprayed to protect the growing crops and after harvest grains should be sto- stored properly so we should use fertilizers as well as we should add them to improve the fertility so next lesson is food and health and the topics let us revise the topics our body needs a balanced diet exercise and enough rest for keeping fit and healthy our diet must include carbohydrates proteins minerals vitamins fats and roughage in appropriate quantities that means all the nutrients should be in appropriate quantities so that our diet should include all these things and regular exercise helps purifying blood keeps muscles in good shape and improves posture so we should do regular exercise and that helps in purifying blood muscles in good shape and improves posture enough rest and sleep are essential for growth and body repair so we should take enough rest we should take a good sleep for essential growth diseases that are caused by malfunctioning of an organ or deficiency of some nutrient or called non communicable diseases that means a uh, different functioning of an organ or deficiency of some nutrients because of lack of nutrients we are getting some diseases so the, those uh, diseases are called non communicable diseases and the diseases which can spread from a sick to a healthy person are called communicable diseases communicable means uh, from a sick person to a healthy person diseases are spreading so that we are calling it as communicable diseases and non communicable means uh, because of uh, not proper functioning of an organ or deficiency of some nutrients in our body so those are non communicable diseases and they are caused communicable diseases or caused by germs and may spread through air infected food and water direct contact insect bites etc so communicables are mainly caused by germs germs are nothing but disease causing microbes so what are germs disease causing microbes those are bacteria virus protozoa and fungus um, in fourth class already we have learned this right what are the germs and how they spread and proper hygiene and vaccination can prevent the spreading of communicable diseases so we we need to maintain proper hygiene and vaccination should be taken for the spreading so that we can prevent the spreading of communicable diseases the next lesson is safety and first aid so the important topics are we should follow safety rules to avoid accidents and in the case of fire due to electricity and oil or uh, do not throw water to put out the fire immediate medical help given to an injured person before the our arrival of the doctor is called first aid that means uh, if any accident is made first of all we have to give first aid for the patients and then we have to go to the hospital if needed so before the doctor arrives uh, whatever the treatment we are giving them so whatever the help medical help we are giving them that is treated as first aid and a crack or break in bone is called fracture so cracking or breaking in a bone is called fracture and tearing of tissues around the joint is called sprain spraining is nas- nothing but so we'll be having joints right so in that joints if tissues are teared 
no so in that case uh, we are calling it as sprain and cracking or breaking of crack or break in a bone is called as fracture in a bone that means bone is breaking right so that we are calling it as fracture and tearing of tissue around the joint is called sprain and one can get major or minor burns in case of accidental contact with hot objects steam bursting crackers and so on so burns may be major or minor so if uh, if we get uh, into these objects like hot objects or steam if we go near them ma major or minor burns can be seen and animal bites need to be treated immediately otherwise they can lead to rabies so whenever animal bites so we need to take immediate treatment to avoid rabies the next lesson solid liquid and gases so let us see the important points everything around us is made of matter matter is nothing but which has space and which occupies place so that we are calling it as matter so matter exists in three forms that is solid liquid and gases matter is made up of molecules which in turn are made up of atoms so matter is at matter is made of molecules and that is made of molecules are made of atoms so molecules are arranged differently in different states of matter so when two liquids dissolve in one another they are called miscible liquids if they do not dissolve they are called immiscible miscible uh, for example miscible is salt and water because salt and water are easily dissolving that means yeah here we we are seeing two liquids right so water and alcohol or water and glycerin right so those are two liquids they are mixing with each other that means they are dissolving in each other so those we are calling it as miscible liquids and if they are not dissolving they are called immiscible Immis for example of immis immiscible is um, ghee and water or oil and water right uh, on the top of the water you can see the oil droplets or ghee droplets because uh, those are not dissolving water okay that means two liquids are not dissolving if not dissolving means immiscible if dissolving means miscible liquid gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide dissolve easily in water okay matter can be changed from one form to another by heating or cooling for example water itself matter can be changed from one form to another by heating or cooling that means if we take water uh, if we keep it in fridge that becomes ice and if um, that means we are cooling it and if we are heating that that turns the ice again turns into water some changes are temporary and while others are permanent what are physical changes and what are the chemical changes once let us observe let's observe the difference uh, comparison between the physical and chemical changes physical change means no new substance or form but when it comes to chemical change new substances are formed physical change the molecular composition of the substance does not change that means the composition is not changing but in chemical change the molecular composition of substance also changes physical change is a temporary change original substance can be reversed by simple means in most cases that means uh, easily we can change the state uh, we can reverse the process but chemical change is a permanent change original substance cannot be obtained back by simple means so it is an irreversible change so now uh, let's take an example for physical change water water can be made as ice and water can be made that means ice means it is a solid and water can be made into water vapor right again from water vapor to we can make it a liquid form of water and then we can make it as ice also so that means a physical change of water can be changed can be uh, reversed right and for chemical change uh, if we see that means uh, like fruits that means mango for example mango first mango will be in green color and then if it is sweetened then it turns to yellow color but can we reverse the process that that means the chemical property of the chemical change of mango cannot be reversed so it is a permanent change the next lesson rocks and minerals important points so what are the gemstones gemstones are nothing but sapphire ruby and emerald and asia has more than one third of the world's coal that means whatever the coal present in the world asia is having one third that means in three parts one part more than one part of coal is having in asia coal is available in asia right 
uh, rocks are made of minerals and they are of three kinds igneous sedimentary and metamorphic what are the three kinds igneous sedimentary and metamorphic igneous rocks are formed by cooling and hardening of magma so how igneous or rocks are formed by cooling and hardening of magma granite obsidian and pumice are igneous rocks and what are sedimentary rocks are made by deposition of rock particles in the bottom of the sea so sandstone conglomerate shale limestone and coal are sedimentary rocks metamorphic rocks are formed from igneous and sedimentary rocks that means both mixed to form metamorphic marble slate gneiss and quartz are metamorphic rocks so minerals are the natural resources and they are of two types metallic and non metallic minerals are two types metallic and non metallic and coal and petroleum are non metallic ores coal and petroleum are non metallic ores and taj mahal is made of equisite building and that is made of white marble taj mahal is an equisite building and the total taj mahal is made of white marble here when you observe minerals are of two types right metallic and non metallic metallic is nothing but if the substances are combining with metals those are called metallic substances and if the substances does not have metals so those are called those we are calling it as non metallic ores important points in soil erosion and conservation lesson so sundarlal bahuguna started chipko movement in 1973 in uttar pradesh so some of the villages in that place in uttar pradesh what they have did they have hugged the trees uh, so that not to cut the trees and even this passed to different states and they also done the same movement and soil is the basis of existence of all forms of life on and soil formation is a slow process and it takes million of years soil formation formation of soil is a slow process and it is taking millions of years but soil erosion is a fast process and caused by wind and water so soil erosion is a fast process that can be caused by wind and water human activities like deforestation overgrazing by cattle ploughing at high hill sides and so on accelerates the process of soil erosion so what are the so how we can see the soil erosion is uh, by deforestation overgrazing ploughing etc so looking after the soil and preventing its erosion is called soil conservation that means we have to take care of the soil and its uh, preventing of erosion so that is called soil conservation some methods of soil con conservation are reforestation step farming avoid overgrazing by animals constructing bands or walls along river banks and avoiding dumping of garbage in the soil and soil near the volcano is most fertile soil why because uh, the minerals are break down into the form of soil while volcanic eruption when volcanoes are coming out so what are the minerals present in them they are converted they are break down into soil so soil near the volcano is the most fertile soil so comes to next lesson animals habitat and adaptation so do you know that in one minute we take a complete of 16 breaths that means in one minute we breathe we breathe in and breathe out 16 times that means in one hour 1000 breaths we take and in 24 hours 24000 breaths we take and the surroundings in which a plant or an animal grows and lives is called its habitat that means where an animal or plant is growing and where it is living that is called as its habitat different animals have different breathing organs like lungs skin gills and spiracles right um, so the breathing organs like lungs so a frog takes breath by its lungs skin means earthworm gills we already know fish and spiracles mean cockroach and grasshopper so a uh, thin rod like uh, that means uh, it will be having some like two straight lines they will be having in the front of their nose right uh, those are called spiracles so cockroach and grasshopper uh, take breathing through 
asparagus and fish through gills uh, earthworm through skin and frog through lungs some animals migrate over long distances in search of food to escape harsh weather or to breed that means in search of food and or to escape uh, weather different weather conditions some animals migrate means uh, they move from one place to another place over the long distances based on their feeding habits animal can be grouped as herbivores carnivores and omnivores already you know this herbivores are nothing but eating only plants carnivores are nothing but eating only flesh omnivores are nothing but eating plants as well as flesh and human is an example of omnivore good animals move with their with the help of their limbs limbs are nothing but uh, there are two types of limbs four limbs and hind limbs four limbs means first two legs are called four limbs hind means last two legs are called hind limbs right and uh, like dog tiger cat everything for uh, how the animals having four legs are, are called that means limbs means front two legs and back two legs front two legs are called four limbs back two legs are called hind limbs scales with the help that means animals moving with the help of their scales is fish fins means fish fins is also fish flippers means penguin wings etc next lesson is our skeleton system now let's know our skeleton system uh, skull is made up of 22 bones 8 cranial and 14 facial bones backbone is having 33 bones rib cage is having 12 pairs of ribs 12 pairs means 24 the femur or thigh bone in the upper leg is the longest bone present in our body so which is the longest bone in our body means thigh bone that is called as femur so the bones at the joints move smoothly because of a fluid which acts like a lubricant this is called as synovial fluid with the help of this fluid only we can move our joints very easily see here we can observe different types of joints right hinge joint is nothing but it is uh, uh, near elbow ball and socket joint in hips pivot joint in neck and gliding joint in wrist that means in our hands yes muscles can shorten and they can pull but they cannot push that means pulling is easy but pushing is very hard for muscles most muscles are arranged in opposite direction and they work in pairs so muscles will be working in pairs here comes the important points the framework of bones in our body is called skeleton so skeleton is nothing but how the bones are arranged the framework of bones in our body the skeleton gives shape to the body and protects the soft internal organs so what is the help of the skeleton it it gives shape to our body as well as it protects the soft internal organs the human skeleton consists of skull backbone ribcage and two pairs of limbs consists of skull 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 how many uh, how many bones you have 22 eight corneal and remaining facial 12 facial and uh, backbone 33 ribcage 12 pairs and two pairs of limbs are nothing but two hands and two legs joint is a place where two or more bones meet there are two types of joints movable and immovable movable means we can easily move but easily move the joints immovable are that we cannot easily move the joints there are four different types of movable joints in our body hinge joint that means elbow ball and socket joint means in our in hips pivot joint in neck and gliding joint in wrist muscles are the fleshy bundles of tough elastic material in the body so there are two two kinds of muscles in our body those are voluntary and involuntary voluntary or nothing but uh, we can move at our will that means we can move whenever we want that means those will be our in our control so those muscles are called voluntary muscles and involuntary means uh, they will not be in control of us that means like uh, uh, blood pressure that means moving of blood and uh, moving of air in lungs so these are not in our control but the muscles which we can move that means with the help of us only those muscles can move so that are called as voluntary muscles important points in our nervous system lesson so human brain 
it uh, the weight of human brain is 1.4 kg and the left side of the brain is controlling the right side part of our body and the right side of our brain is control controls the left side of our body so first brain is a very complex uh, in our body and the second is eyes and dolphins have the sense of hearing 14 times sharper than human being okay uh, so in some countries uh, dolphins are uh, trained by army and the skin is not same all over the body so it is thick in palms of our hands and soles of our feet brain spinal cord and nerves make the nervous system so what is the nervous system made of brain spinal cord and nerves brain is protected by the skull it has three parts cerebrum cerebellum and medulla oblongata and cerebrum is the main part it, it is uh, having the biggest part cerebellum is present this behind that means uh, cerebellum is uh, after the cerebrum and then medulla is a uh, bulb like a tube so this uh, this is a uh, brain and nerves carry messages within our body so what the nerves are doing they carry messages within our body they are of three types so how many nerves are there how many types of nerves are there means three types those are sensory nerves motor nerves and mixed nerves that means sensory nerves are nothing but they carry information that means they give the information they give the information to the brain motor nerves are nothing but they give the response from the brain okay and mixed nerves are nothing but uh, they carry the information as well as they take the response right so nerves are of three types sensory nerves motor nerves and mixed nerves so reflex actions are controlled by the spinal cord reflex actions are nothing but immediate actions so those are controlled by the spinal cord eyes ears nose tongue and skin are our five sense organs we already know this they help us to see hear smell taste and feel so we should take proper care of our sense organs so next lesson force and energy important points a push or pull acting on an object is called force that means a pushing or a pulling of an object is called force there are many types of forces such as gravitational force frictional force magnetic force and muscular force so we use machines to make different difficult work easier why do we use machines to make the difficult work that means if we can't do the work we use machines to make it easy so lever pulley incline plane wheel and axle and which are simple machines so that uh, they make our work easy energy is ability to do work what is the energy the ability to do work based on sources energy is divided into renewable and non-renewable energy so based on the sources energy can be divided into two parts renewable energy and non-renewable energy renewable is nothing but the energy which cannot be replenished quickly by nature is called non renewable and renewable means it can easily renewable that means uh, the energy that can be infinitely or uh, that can be quickly replenished by nature that means uh, renewable means uh, we can take it by nature easily so those are called renewable uh, the energy which we cannot take easily by nature is called non renewable energy so in the easy method i am just explaining you solar heat electricity mechanical tidal wind and water are different kinds of energy solar energy heat uh, electricity energy mechanical energy tidal energy wind energy and water energy so what is solar energy we get it from sun heat energy by con by burning the fuels like coal kerosene etc we get heat energy electricity that comes from electric energy that comes from electricity is called considered as electrical energy mechanical energy is what moving and moving of an object gives us mechanical energy tidal energy means uh, because of tides we get energy those are called tidal energy wind energy is nothing but uh, moving air energy which is coming from moving air is called wind uh, wind energy and uh, it is also a form of solar energy and water energy or hydro water energy is also known as hydro energy that energy is uh, we can uh, we can get it from the flowing water so we can generate in electricity from, from
from flowing water we can generate electricity so that electricity from water we are getting we are calling it as water or hydro electricity hydro energy so next lesson air and water uh, let's see what is the composition of air 78% or is 78% uh, of air is having nitrogen 21% oxygen 0.03% carbon dioxide and the remaining is other gases the important points in air and water is air is a mixture of gases air has many gases the blanket of air around the earth is called atmosphere what we are calling atmosphere the blanket of air around the earth air has weight and occupy space it supports burning air is essential for breathing air exerts pressure in all the directions equally hot air expands while cold air contracts hot air is expanding while cold air is contracting pure water is tasteless odorless and colorless water is found in all the three states of matter that means solid liquid and gases any substance dissolves faster in a given liquid if the liquid is warm and if it is still so when if substance is still and the liquid is warm so the liquid uh, will be dissolving very faster water fit for drinking is called potable water so nowadays uh, we are we are having drinking water right that means those uh, that water we can call it as potable water impure water can be cleaned by methods like sedimentation decantation filtration boiling and adding chlorine tablets sedimentation is nothing but uh, taking uh, some taking impurified water in one glass and leaving it undisturbed for some hours so that is called sedimentation decantation is nothing but pouring of that clean water into the other container so that is called decantation filtration is nothing but taking a thin cloth or paper uh, so that uh, impurities will be outside of the paper and taking the pure water into a container boiling and adding chlorine tablets uh, we already know that for purifying water we add chlorine next lesson earth sun and moon important points solar system consists of sun eight planets and the satellites the earth is also known as blue planet because the presence of water on it so the earth's internal structure shows three layers crust mantle and core crust is in the upper part mantle in the middle part and core is the innermost part sun is at the center of our solar system and is essential for sustaining life on earth so sun is at the center of solar system moon is the only natural satellite of earth it changes its shapes every night so whenever we observe the moon so no two days moon is same seen same right so surface of moon is covered with steep mountains and deep craters the gravity on moon is one sixth of the gravity on earth so gravity is very very less on earth if it is six parts uh, but when it comes to moon it is only one part that means one sixth of gravity on earth moon's gravitational pull causes tides in the sea on earth so because of moon's gravitational pull only the tides we can see on earth eclipse occurs when sun earth and moon come in a straight line so uh, we are observing lunar eclipse and solar eclipse right so when they come uh, when we can observe that means sun earth and moon are coming in a straight line they are they are of two types solar and lunar eclipse artificial satellites are man made objects that orbit around the earth that means we are having some artificial satellite satellites right uh, so that we can observe the channels and uh, towers and even for um, different different like airtel geo uh, those are having the separate separate satellites so that we can easily communicate right so when lunar eclipse is formed when sun earth and moon are in straight line that is lunar and when solar eclipse is formed when sun moon and earth are in straight line sun moon and earth and we, we should not uh, see when solar eclipse uh, with our naked eye because there is a chance of losing our eyesight next lesson natural disaster natural disasters disasters caused by the natural are called natural disasters or natural calamities earthquakes are caused by the movement of plates present in the earth's crust that means earth crust is having some plates so uh, if they are moved so that we are calling it as earthquake seismologist use seismographs to measure the intensity intensity of earthquakes on the richer scale so how we can know the earthquake is occurring and what is the scale what is the point so with the help of richer scale how we measure earthquake with richer scale volcanoes occur when magma 
from deep within the air rushes out through weak spots in the crust. Volcanoes can be active, dormant or extinct. Active means which are present. Dormant means which are already past. Or extinct means uh, so many years back. And tsunami is caused by undersea landslides, undersea earthquakes, undersea volcanic eruptions and so on. How tsunamis are formed? Under undersea landslides or undersea earthquakes. That means earthquakes which are uh, occurring under the sea uh, or volcanic eruptions under the sea. So uh, uh, because of them tsunami is formed. Temporary reduction in water below the normal level due to very poor rainfall is called drought. The drought is nothing but so 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 less water is present that we are calling it as drought it leads to famine and epidemics famine is nothing but uh, people die due to hunger and water so no water is present and no hunger no, uh, no food to eat so that is the uh, that we are calling it as famine and epidemics is nothing but uh, spreading of uh, uh, diseases widespread of diseases uh, so that we are calling it as epidemic situation next lesson our environment is changing uh, human activities have led to changes in the environment pollutant is anything that changes the environment and has harmful effects on the living things Pol something is polluting means that is changing the environment and it is harmful and that is having harmful effects on living things pollution is of four types air water land and noise air pollution water pollution land pollution and noise pollution we should follow the 3 r principle that is reduce reuse and recycle for keeping the environment clean and green so which uh, which uh, principle we have to use 3 r principle reduce reuse and recycle so these are the main and important topics are related to fifth class evs uh, that means fifth class science so if you like the video please uh, like share and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this uh, you can you can please uh, question me so that if i am uh, if possible i'll i'll try to answer all the questions okay uh, thank you please uh, like share and subscribe my video thank you